At Xbox, we have a rich history of supporting the independent developer community. But on Xbox One, we wanted to push that even further, and we wanted to build a platform that really, truly unlocked self-publishing on Xbox One. We listened to what the development community wanted, and we crafted a platform in partnership with them that allows them to unlock their creativity and bring their magic to life on Xbox One. There are four main pillars to this program. The first is that we will be providing qualified developers with two development kits at no cost. Eventually, our vision is that every Xbox One retail device will become a development kit. But until we get to that point, the second is tools and resources. We will be making available the full power of the console to our development partners and all the suite of services that come with the console. There are no fees. Certification and activation do not have fees associated with them. We want to bring as many companies into this program as we can, and we want to get them onto our platform as quickly as we can. We have built into our platform a number of architectural features that make discoverability really fantastic. We've put into our marketplace trending and recommendations and spotlights. But also we have the ability for players to share what they are playing in video form with game DVR and with upload. And this will allow the virality of our platform to get the best games out to as many people as possible. Fable was the first game I ever worked on on the original Xbox. So it's, I have a ton of excitement about the work that Lionhead's doing to create the new iteration of the franchise. Lionhead Studios is creating an online world of Albion like you've never seen. It's the most beautiful fantasy game we've ever created. And at the same time, they're bringing Fable to a new generation, including technology like Smart Glass, which allows you to play as e either the villain or the hero. Very traditional for Fable, very Fable, and it looks amazing on Xbox One. One of the features of the Xbox One that we're really looking forward to is the support of the Xbox Live Cloud. And we will be using this new feature to host dedicated servers for Xbox One players. With millions of people playing Call of Duty on a daily basis, we want to make sure we give our community the best possible online experience. And the Xbox Live Cloud is a great new resource for us to accomplish this. So now let's talk about Gamescom. I'm happy to announce that we'll be unveiling an entirely new multiplayer mode called Blitz. Uh, this is an objective-based game mode that encourages players to think tactically about how to attack and defend two key points on the map. <clears throat> if you reach the enemy's point safely, you score for your team and are immediately teleported back to your side of the map. We have created an exclusive Call of Duty Ghosts premium bundle across European markets when the game is released in November. The bundle includes special bonus content exclusive to Xbox One, and as always, multiplayer maps will be available first on Xbox One and Xbox 360. We have built a Kinect sensor for Xbox One which has 10 times the power of the sensor on 360, and this allows developers to unlock some really magical game design creativity and features. The team at Rare have developed a really wonderful feature which takes you and puts you into the game, a feature that we call the Champion Creator. And that allows the Kinect Center to take you and make an awesome version of you and put you into the game in a really fun and entertaining way. I'm obviously here to talk about FIFA 14 coming this September on Xbox 360 uh, and later this fall on Xbox One. Imagine combining the stars of today with the legends of yesterday. Well, now that's possible. I'm happy to announce Ultimate Team Legends, only on Xbox. A star-studded lineup of the best players of all time, available within gold packs of special items. Ladies and gentlemen, Rude Hullet and Freddy Lundberg. Yes. What's it like to be back in FIFA along with these other legends? No, it uh, has been a long time, of course, that I've played uh, my football. Um, I think it's also an honor to be considered you know, uh, one of the legends, and to be in a game uh, that as popular as, uh, as uh, FIFA 14 is. Uh. Freddie, who did you most admire or fear during your playing career? 
That's uh, it's a difficult part. Admirers, like I would say, like a Dennis Bergkamp, for example, I think has an amazing ability, but he never showboated or uh, he just did everything for the team and uh, a great man outside. Uh, fearing someone uh, as an attacker, you can't really fear anyone. It's, uh, you can't do that. But of course, running into a Jeff Stam or a Sol Campbell, that, that did hurt, but uh, that's the way it is. All pre-orders for Xbox One this holiday will include a copy of FIFA 14 at no additional cost. All pre-orders to date and while stocks last.